some of the other uh, groups that came a group known as the people of Kanda and these people of Kanda subhanallah they came and they asked questions to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told them won't you accept Islam they said bala indeed we will accept Islam we have you have answered our questions we are satisfied so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told them what is the piece of silk that you have on your necks they immediately took it out ripped it and threw it away done why am i saying this to show you that people who accepted islam new muslims as soon as they were told what was halal and haram they surrendered to it without even asking a question he only asked what is that now in islam we heard in Medina Munawwara, the Prophet Sallallahu got up one day, he put gold in one hand and he put silk in the other. And he says, Inna hadaini haramun ala dhukuri ummati. These two are prohibited for the males of my ummah. There we are. Jewelry, any form of jewelry prohibited for a male. Males are not allowed to wear jewelry. Jewelry is for females. These people, this soft touch, immediately they ripped it and put it aside. How many of us? are ready to give up our chains and earrings that we've been wearing for years as men, as males. We're not talking to the females here. As males, Wallahi, if we can give it up for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tonight, perhaps we will enter Jannah just through the one deed that we have on our records. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen our men, our young boys as well. Don't feel hurt that you're going to lose a chain that's stuck around your neck. You remove it immediately, take off your earring, throw it out and say, Ya Allah, if jewelry is not for men, I have heard what the people of Kanda have done, Ya Allah, help me to grant me Jannah in the same way. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us Jannah.